Welcome, it's Leon Street in the house and I've got another great training for you today. And actually, it's a training that, I've got to think about this, how I say this one in particular, but it's a training that is probably not typical in terms of what most people talk about. And I want to talk about how to overcome difficult times and turn things around because in the world of marketing, in the world of business, you'll hear a lot of talk about, and even from myself, you know, all the great things that are going on, or even the trainings, the different tactics, the different strategies that you need to be aware of. But actually, when things are not going well in your business, i.e. when things are not going well up here as well, and you're challenged, how do you move forward? And it's, it's not straightforward when you're stuck in the middle of stressful, difficult times because until you're faced with some real challenge in your life, until you've faced some real struggle, you won't really know how you're going to respond. And because of that, these difficult times kind of linger around and, and sometimes they linger for a day, sometimes they linger for a week, sometimes a month, sometimes a year, sometimes more than one year, multiple years. And what can you do to shake it? What can you do to turn things around? And this, this whole video that I'm talking about now, although we haven't got much time today, but I'm going to really give, I'm going to really get stuck into this as fast as possible. I want to, I want to keep this one to around about 15 minutes max, but this comes off the back of a coaching call that I had with a client this week. And I've been coaching them for a while, supporting them, mentoring them, kind of giving them direction, things to do and so on. But out of it, after a number of months, what came out of it was, look, I'm challenged in my life and I've been hiding it. I've been putting a Band-Aid over it. I've been putting a plaster over it. And it's showing up in all these different areas of my life. And one of the big things um, that I learned when I first had a business coach, I wouldn't even say things, but like it's almost like a statement. And I'm going to share it and then I'll, I'll put it on the flip chart as well is it's this the way you do something is the way you do everything yeah so i'm going to write that down first of all i'm going to come back to it so so the way you do something is the way you do everything we're getting some sound effects in the background that's why i'm smiling adam's smiling at me behind the camera as well but anyway so the way you do something is the way you do everything and i'm going to dig into this a bit deeper and guys if you've got any questions drop my pen um if you've got any questions while i'm going through this just let me know if any of this resonates with you, let me know. If you're watching this live, give me a hashtag live below the video in a comment. If you're watching this on a replay, give me a hashtag replay. This is important stuff, by the way. This is making sure that you as the business owner or the person, you know, if, if you're employed and you're watching this, you know, thanks for joining. Most of my videos are for coaches and consultants. So if you are a cultural consultant, this is important because the reason why I can discuss this stuff is because I've been through some difficult things in my career, in my life. Yeah, they're not actually separate. It's just the life. But I've been through them. I've come out the other end. And you know what? For, for the time that I will be alive, uh, alive, there'll be many challenges that I will face. There'll be many things that I'll need to overcome, whether it's mentally, my environment, and different things. And I'm going to touch on some of those areas here. But the way you do something is the way you do everything. So let me explain. So if there's an area of your life that you are hiding from shying away from right now it's going to show up in other areas of your life because that's a part of who you are the way you respond to life the way you do you and if you're not performing well in whatever that something is it's going to show up in other areas of your life because it's kind of like the habits you've created it's the character traits that you give off when you are ch uh, probably challenged in that particular area and the reason why i want to discuss this is because you know, if things aren't right up here or you're challenged mentally, you may be going through stress, anxiety, depression, um, all of the above. Yeah, you are challenged. You'll blame other people. You'll blame other things. You won't take ownership, accountability or responsibility. And this is another part of th this thing, you know, turning things around. In order to turn things around, you've got to get to a place where 
you are um, taking ownership, you have accountability, and you have responsibility for everything that goes on in your life, like literally everything, things that you don't even feel like you control. I mean, I'll give you even a quick example yesterday, that happened to me yesterday. I, yesterday, I drove up to Liverpool to go and pick up, um, not pick up, sorry, to, to um, drop off two applications for, for passports for my children. So two hours there, waited for my meeting, got my meeting, and then to be told that actually um, there are two things that are not right on both application forms, but they couldn't have told me until I was actually there. Now, I was immensely annoyed, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, I get it, great. And so, you know, I had to deal with that and the fact that tomorrow I'll be going back up again to go and drop those applications off so that my children have updated passports and they can go on holiday with me. But that's just a small thing, but I responded to it and I'm like, I'm cool. Okay, let's take care of it. So today I've took care of what needed to be in place. And so I can go up there tomorrow and deal with it. But there are other things that are going on, you know, maybe in your life and how do you deal with it? So the way you do something is the way you do everything. So if there's an area that's not performing well, you've got to change the way you do that something. You've, you've got to own whatever is not going right. You've got to really explore the different areas. Now you're going to come across and I, and I take this and I tip my hat to Derek Mills because um, he's a guy that I follow. Um, he wrote this amazing book called The 10 Second Philosophy. He's a friend of mine from Birmingham as well. Go check him out. Go get the book if you haven't got it on Amazon. Um, it's actually a book. Did we review that on, you, on the YouTube video? Yeah, so you'll actually find the review that I did on YouTube as well. Um, maybe Adam will find it behind the scenes and drop it in the comment below this video. <laughs> so anyway, um, Derek speaks about... Um, these perfect um, standards and the perfect standards basically cover personal health, environment, relationships, family, emotions, career, and time. So if you think about your whole life, it will encapsulate all of those things. Is there an area or areas, could be more than one, that you're finding difficult right now and actually you'd like to change it, you'd like to turn things around. So one of the things that you can look at is like, what's not right? Yeah, so identify in your life what it isn't right. So. so what isn't right right now? So literally write it down. And if there's one piece of advice I can give you is get a notepad, get a journal, something you can write in, because that's one of the biggest things that you can do. Because a lot of the time when you're going through these kind of, you know, mental challenges, stress, anxiety, depression, or, you know, all of those things. It's up here, it's all in your head. So to, to give yourself like room to breathe, space to think, you've got to like, kind of like just get it out and put it into a journal so you can see it for what it is and deal with it. So that way you can respond to it in a great way. So that then shows up that you are capable and you can do other things in, in the different areas of your life in a great way. So identify what isn't right. The second step then is if you've clearly identified what isn't right in personal health, let's say you're having health challenges or you, you, you've got something that's going on difficult with your health. Um, it could be fitness, diet. It could be, it could be something more greater than that. Yeah? It could be something that is really challenging your health. Um, environment, the, where you work, where you live, the people around you, the relationships, family, emotions, career, time, all of these things like what isn't right. Then... I'll do number two. So then number two is where would you like it to be? And when I say it, I mean your life. Yeah, so where would you like your life to be? So then you're going to go back over those key areas. You're going to look at personal health, relationships, um, environment, family, emotions, career, time, like literally those seven areas. What is it that you want to get out of life? Is it, you know, things, let, let me look at these personal health. Is there a certain fitness level you want to get to go to a gym, the way you eat, the nutrition you have, um, environment again, where you work, where you live, something has something got to change. Is it the environment up here in, in your head, the thoughts you have maybe? Relationships. So relationships can be, you know, work colleagues, it can be friends, it can be your social circles, it can be your immediate family, your partner, husband, wife, um, family. So with your family, it's like, what kind of relationships or what things do you need to have going on around 
your family and it could actually be when you when i say family it could also be friends who have become very close it doesn't have to just be like a blood relative um emotions how are you handling yourself are you taking ownership accountability and responsibility are you really focusing um on your career is it going in the right direction yeah remember you are not fixed into a job you can make steps and changes if that's the case or even an industry if you run a business you can change you're not a tree as they say you can move um yes you'll have financial commitments and i'm not blind to that but you've got to make the plan to make that change identify where you'd like it to be your life so what happens then from there you're starting to get to a point well if that's where you'd like it to be is that also the dream is that kind of like the dream for you yeah because the dream is going to lead you to if you're thinking big enough your vision and your vision is obviously where you see things like this is where i'd like to be in a year's time two three five years time you're going to get to the point where you've clearly identified what is the vision for yourself for your life for you your family for the people around you for your business for your team yeah because when you're stuck in difficult times the thing is we're focusing on this what isn't right and we're in this place we're not moving forward and this is a horrible place to be because what happens is you go into this place of denial yeah blame and it's no good it's no good for here it's no good for the people around you and i know that because i've been through it i've been through when one of my businesses failed in the past and i didn't know how to handle the financial collapse of that particular business and it, it rained heavy on me having to make like three of my employees at the time redundant it weighed heavy on me because i took emotional um blame or ownership as well i i own the emotion of what i'd created up here because i don't know exactly how you know my team were going through things but i kind of just piled it all on top of each other and because of that it made things really difficult because i was focused here what isn't right it's not right finances weren't right the business you know virtually collapsed i had to change and it was kind of like my little baby was stuck but what was i going to do different and this is the big thing for me it's kind of like you need to move out of this place to focus on where would you like it to be even when it's difficult because one of the big things i remember when times are tough um was really knowing what options do I have available? Where am I focusing my attention? And this is it, because you get to a place like, where would you like it to be? What is the dream? And the dream therefore is probably gonna be linked to the vision because the, the dream is really what you're seeing before it's happened, right? So once you've got to a place where you start to see, ah, yeah, this is where I'd like to be, then you can then start to focus on the big thing, the big thing that most people talk about and most people don't actually know where to start. Well, what's the purpose? What's the reason you get out of bed in order to go after that dream? Yeah. So you need to identify what is your purpose. And look, if you don't know what your purpose is now, that's cool. I didn't know what my purpose was. It took time. It starts to develop when you get into this place because you're working on where you would like things to be. You have this dream, this vision, and your purpose is very simple. Help one person today. If it's a friend or family, help one person today. Yeah, that's going to move you one step closer to what your purpose is. Because as human beings, we are here to connect with other human beings. It's that simple. It's not like this kind of overarching, ah, like the, the, the sun has shone on me and all of a sudden I have this light bulb epiphany moment. It may happen for you like that. It didn't happen for me like that. And there's going to be other people out there. Um, guys, if this is resonating, just give me a yes in the comments if you are watching this. Um, I'm just going to jump on. Are there any comments, by the way? Yeah, go on, go on. Hey, Nate, yeah, that's true, that's true. So, so the point is, at some point, you're going to get to this purpose. Now, for instance, I'm going to share my purpose. My purpose is to help coaches and consultants break through all of the noise of marketing so that they can grow their business. But although I'm focused on helping them with their marketing, look, I, I'm under no illusion that to get through those challenges are also going to involve different things about life, about being a business owner. And so for me, that's why I'm, I'm clear on who I am, because I focused enough on where I wanted my life to be, because that's all I could focus on at the time to get past all of the fog and the challenges of life at that particular time. So here's the next thing. 
So at this point where you're really starting to focus on, you know, the dream, you can see the vision or you have some idea of what it could be. You've written it down in your journal. The next thing is obviously that purpose and you're starting to get clear on who it is that you want to help or what you're here for or the reason why you want to get out of bed. Some people have their children as their purpose. That's their sole purpose. Other people want to serve the community. Other people just want to help the masses. And you know what? I would always say go and help more than just your family. Why? Because you're capable. We are capable of so many great things. You've got to go beyond your family. Why wouldn't you give back to that community or the greater people if you can? Yeah. Don't be selfish. So the next step is this. I'm just going to make sure we've got some space in here. And this is the final, I think this is going to be the final point that I want to share with you. And I learned this from my coach about 11 years ago. And it's a very simple formula. How are we doing on time, Adam? Two minutes. Okay, got to get going. It's a very simple formula, guys. And this is how you can really start to focus on where you're going who do you want to be in your life so when i said to you think about where you want things to be what is your vision like how do you want your your how do you want your life to unfold that's the b yeah who do you want to be internally what kind of things do you want to be able to do how do you want to be able to think what kind of clarity do you want to own do you want to experience life with once you understand the b which is going to be linked to the vision and the purpose of who you are and where you want life to go you've got to focus then on the do. The do is the action. So you know there's that famous book, Think and Grow Rich. Yeah. The part when you read the book is that there is a doing. It's not just the thinking. It's the thinking is who you choose to be and how you want to live. But there is a massive part on the do. The do is doing the work. The work is necessary. Yeah. Without the work, you will never understand the fruits of your labor believe me that is the truth you've got to go through it to understand it to value it and know really what it's all about but with doing the work you will have what you want in your life yeah you'll be able to tick the boxes on personal health um, environment relationships family emotions career and time and this is the thing once you start to focus on this and you give it the attention it des it deserves that's where you move out of things being difficult now adam signaling to me that time is up and i've got to really jump out of this i'm just double checking things so i'm just going to come back to the video and if you've got any questions guys before I, I wrap this one up i'm just checking in right now so let me see what have we got okay how you doing venus shouting you out anybody else um thank you for sharing the book adam oh captain mike how you doing nate <laughs> um t mac thank you very much for your comments keep doing what you do um who else we got okay great that's about it for now so if you watch this back on replay just give me a hashtag replay share your thoughts with me as well if any of this has resonated with because look business isn't always going to be successful business isn't always just going to fly but those challenges and how you come through them out the other side is what is going to allow you to go and grow yeah B times do equals have. It's Leon Street from Business Owner Elevation. I want to leave you with this. I'm just going to change, hopefully, my screen in a moment. Let's see if we can get that going. So in my methodology of how I help business owners grow, I have step seven, which is all about purpose. And purpose is this. I'm going to jump because there's some key, key things that you've got to have in terms of mindset. And I just want to share them all on screen with you. It's the final part. You're responsible for all decisions, good and bad. Own it. You need to hold both short and long-term visions simultaneously so you can work on the stuff now knowing where you're going to. Feeling uncomfortable is your new comfort zone. Don't just say it. Actually get to the place where you are uncomfortable. Too many people talk. Learning is a continuous journey. Never stops. Numbers don't lie. Focus on the numbers and the results of your actions. Love your business, but be objective. Enjoy breaking the rules because that's what they're there for. Somebody else set them. Doesn't mean that they're always right. Time isn't linear. Simply take life moment to moment. There are some things that will speed you up, like getting a coach, hiring somebody. Yeah, that's why time isn't linear. You don't have to do it all on your own and start now. Guys, it's Leon Street from leonstreet.com, a business owner elevation. Thank you for watching. Share the video if you think it's been useful and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.